Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I wanna to talk about technical solutions and management solutions. All right, so today I'm coming to you from London. I'm just outside the British Museum, but I had a client meeting nearby. And you know what? I've been wearing a suit a lot lately in these videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed it because we've had a lot of new projects starting up. So I've been meeting with a lot of new clients, having that first initial meeting about whether or not we can help them do their app or, or take over an existing app. Now it's difficult with taking over an existing app and we've been getting that a lot lately. Some of it we turned down because it could be a poison chalice, you know, like you're thinking, what's gone wrong with this project? And you know, can we save it? Can we do anything with it? And usually it's down to one of two issues. It's either a technical solution, which is great. I love the technical solutions because that's that's my wheelhouse. I love coming up with, you know, are you having a technical problem? Is it the way, is it the architecture you're using? Is it the way it's coded? Is the foundation shaky? That kind of stuff. But sometimes it's a management issue. It's either technical or it's management. And when it's a management issue, that's kind of fun too. A lot of times the developers, you know, they're good. I look at the code, the code is good. The, um, the client is frustrated because they're not getting the results that they want. They're saying these guys don't understand what I'm saying or they're not delivering or they're lazy. But when I look at the code, I think, there's nothing wrong with the code and it's unlikely they're lazy and a lot of times it's a management issue. Sometimes maybe they lost a bit of motivation and they just need to be pushed, they just need to be prodded a little bit. Maybe they just, um, you know, they, lo they lost steam or maybe it's a communication issue. I love it when it's a communication issue because sometimes you can just produce some wireframes and you're like, this is what the client wants and then it's like, oh, I wish they would have been more clear. So I love it when it's a management issue. For years when I was working here in London at, at investment banks, I would, as a software developer, I always had a manager and a lot of times I could not stand my manager. My manager, and again, if, if you were ever one of my managers, no offense to this, but like the manager will, will nag you and push you and even though they don't understand the technology completely, they don't understand the issues that you're having, be, when is this gonna be done, when is this gonna be done, and just push, 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 and it was annoying, but sometimes, that's what we need to get the project done. Sometimes you need somebody on a daily basis to say, hey, you promised this by Thursday, it's Wednesday now, are you gonna have it done? And as much as it bothered me back then, I talked to so many clients or new clients where that's what they need. They need, that, they need the person just to push it. They're not having a technical problem, which is what I wanted to help with. They're having a management issue. And we try to help a little bit with that too, but when I explained to them, look, your developers, you know, based on what I've seen, it's good. The code is good, what they produced is good, but they're not producing it fast enough or they're not, they're not realizing the vision that you wanna have. What you have is a management issue, and yeah, we can help with that too, but, um, but the ideal situation is if you just you know, get some structure there, be more clear with your documentation, and, uh, and we help with that a little bit, but you know, it's a management issue. So anyway, just my thoughts for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.